Well, the U.S. defense bill remains in limbo until the Senate and House reconcile their differences. The Senate passed their version with bipartisan support late last week of the $886 billion in defense spending, more than $500 million, is slated for local construction projects. Tenny Your Side's Chris Horn looks at the to-do list and the potential impact it could have on the community. Chris? Tom, the proposed defense budget has a strong list of local construction projects. Also in the package, the biggest proposed pay raise for both uniformed and civilian DOD personnel in more than 20 years. The proposal includes about $520 million for Hampton Roads. Some of the highlights, Naval Station Norfolk would get a new sub pier and a facility for the MQ-25 drone that can refuel other aircraft. The Naval Weapons Station at Yorktown would get nearly $50 million for weapons magazines. Little Creek and SEAL Team 2 are in line for a new SEAL Team delivery vehicle. It's tagged at $60 million. And the Navy Shipyard in Portsmouth would get an $80 million dry dock saltwater system to enable it to adapt to rising seas. You got to build a, an infrastructure that's both suitable for larger platforms, but also that takes into account some of the sea level rise issues. I was touring the public shipyard about two weeks ago. The Senate and House must now reconcile and pass a single defense budget. Some House members say they won't pass certain provisions related to the culture wars, including paid travel expenses to seek an abortion. The proposal also includes a significant pay raise for both uniformed and civilian personnel. And at 5.2%, it would be the largest pay raise since 2000. I don't think the House is going to say, look, we got to have these culture war victories or we're not going to give the military a 5.2% pay raise. And coming up at six, how the budget proposal addresses a major challenge for military families finding proper childcare. Chris Horn, 10 in your side.